Hey everybody, I was going to say, every now and then I come to you with some good cooking advice. Well, last time is some deep fried pork chops, now it's going to be sausage balls, okay? Now sausage balls, you can probably think, what the heck is it, right? It's amazing, okay? thing of it is, you're going to have some main ingredients here. You need to make sure that you have your 16, 16 ounces of some sort of sausage. And we're uh, right here in Tennessee, so obviously we're going to go with Jimmy Dean, the real deal, all right? 16 ounces and in charge, buddy. All right, then you need to make sure that you wind up having some sort of cream cheese. All right, now with cream cheese, let's see here. You need to make sure that you got at least eight ounces, eight ounces of this stuff, all right? And then you need to make sure that you got two cups, all right? Two cups of Aunt Jemima's Buttermilk Complete Best, right? Pancake mix, okay? And then you need to make sure that you got you some cheese, some shredded sort of cheese of your kind. You pick the flavor, you pick the brand. Alright, so the first thing you need to do, right, is you need to have you some sort of big mixing bowl here. You want to dump in your uh, pancake mix. Then, you're going to go ahead and uh, get the sausage open. Get that on in there too. Squeeze it all out. You don't want to let none of that awesomeness go to waste. Alright, some folks say, you know, they go with the little... Uh, Jimmy Dean, they might go with a little off brand, but I'm here to tell you, you can't be wrong, you get a little Jimmy Dean and everything, alright? Alright. Get this over here. Okay, so now we've got the sausage. We got that right there. Now we need to get us a little bit of this uh, cream cheese. Alright, now the cream cheese is, it actually works out uh, pretty good. It gives it a nice, smooth flavor. Helps create a little moisture inside the. Uh, Sausage balls here and whatnot, so that way after you go to bake these suckers, they're pretty darn good. I wouldn't steer you wrong on this. So you get your eight ounces of this stuff in here and whatnot, and you are rocking and rolling. Now for your cheese, okay? Your cheese is pretty simple. You just kind of dump as much as you want in there. Now I ain't saying get all crazy and whatnot and dump two pounds worth of cheese in here, all right? But uh, but as you can tell. You need to make sure that you have a whole mess of it in there, all right? So that way you're doing all right. Because if you like me, you like some cheese, okay? This ain't about eating healthy right here. This is about eating good, okay? Now, next thing it is, now see, I got the gloves on. I don't mind getting my hands all dirty and whatnot, but the thing it is is that when I'm in here mixing this stuff up, I, I kind of like to have the gloves on so that way it ain't uh, all kind of nasty feeling. And everything, you put the gloves on, you like Superman and everything. It don't matter. You can just dive on into it and get on after it. So in which case, so what you need to do is you need to come on over here and you need to uh, be mixing this up and be squeezing it too. It's kind of like you're putting a meatloaf together or something except it's sausage, cheese, pancake mix, and cream cheese. Alright, now here in just a minute, I'm going to get this mixed up pretty good and here in just a minute, I'll show you what this should look like whenever you get done with it. Alright, so... Here we are, we wound up getting this all mixed up and everything, right? As you can see, it's kind of the, the bottom of the barrel right there. All right, so the thing it is, is this is what you want. You want to have this kind of consistency and everything, right? So it's like one big, uh, one big ball. Okay, this way it's all mixed in, the cream cheese, the sausage, uh, all of it, okay? It's all, all real big and whatnot. Now the thing it is, is that you need to make sure that you have a couple pans all uh, sprayed down and greased up, so that way your stuff ain't gonna stick. Now, the secret of it is, is when it comes to rolling these things, okay, you want to make sure that you uh, that you're rolling a, a decent sized ball. All right. Now, what happens here is you you roll them like so, and you're gonna get a ball that's about the size of a of a golf ball, okay. And the thing of it is, is that you don't want them to be too big because if they're too big, all right, you're gonna have a hard time cooking these things. So you want to make sure they're about the right size and consistency and what have you. Too small and you're going to have to have a whole bunch of darn pans. Now if you have too big, they're going to wind up being undercooked and slightly gooey on in the middle. All sorts of nastiness. So you want to make sure that you got it about the right size. And whenever you're cooking, you want to make sure that you're cooking at about 325 degrees, nice and slow. Okay, so nice and slow is what you want. So that way, whenever it comes time to uh, cooking these things here, right? They can have a nice slow cooking time here. You try to cook them too fast, you'll burn them. Okay, and about halfway through here, we'll wind up having to do some flipping. And we'll get to that a little bit later, but for right now, we're just going to roll these things out. So what we're going to do, you want to make sure that you uh, have your pans ready. You start rolling these suckers out, and uh, 
We'll show you what it looks like here in a minute. We'll get them ready for the oven. All right, so we done got them rolled out here and everything, and you're gonna get right around 36, give or take. I mean, it's all depending on how big or how little you make these things, but you're looking right around 36. 36 amazing sausage balls, all right? Now, after you do that, all you gotta do is you slap these suckers right on in the oven, 325 degrees, and after uh, about a few minutes, maybe about 10 minutes, give or take, right? You're gonna come in here and you're gonna flip them over in here in about 10 minutes, give or take. We're gonna go ahead and come on in and show what they look like. Flipping them over, give them just a few little mixture mints to simmer and cook and whatnot, and the next thing you know, you're good to go. All right, so now they've been in the oven for about 10 minutes or so. So now you need to get you a set of tongs here, all right? You need to make sure you check them out. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna whip these out one tray at a time, mind you. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna reach under here and you're gonna flip them. See how they got that little brown crust on the bottom of them? That's a good thing right there. It means that they're cooking up. But the thing it is, is that you need to go through and flip them. If you don't flip them, if you just leave them on in there and they're like, you know what, let's let the oven do its job. I gotta tell you right now, you're gonna be sorely mistaken because you're gonna pull these out and you're gonna have some burnt bottoms, all right? So you just wanna make sure that you uh, flip these over. Now that little golden brown crust that you see on there right now, don't worry about that, that's good. That's nice and crispy. So that way whenever you go to, to eat these things, it has a nice little crunch to it whenever you sink down into it. Really good. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that to my second pan. And I'll add them here in just a minute or two. Well, not a minute or two. After I get these flipped over, it'll be about another five to 10 minutes, give or take. And what we'll do is we'll pull one of these out, cut them in half, cut one of the biggest ones you got in half. And then that way you check to make sure it looks done. And we'll see what that looks like here in just a few minutes. And uh, that'll be when you know that they're ready to come on out. Total baking time ain't but about 15 to 20 minutes, give or take. And uh, it's just based off of what it looks like and how they feel and how they look right there. So in which case, I'll uh, show you the results here in about maybe five to 10 minutes. We'll cut one of these suckers open. All right, so now it's been just a little while, about five, 10 minutes, give or take. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, look and see what we got. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the big ones here, all right? Find you a big one, and of course, if you look on the bottom, it's already got that nice, crispy, crispy bottom to it. Dog, hey, hey, knock it off. Dog's interrupting the video. I do apologize and whatnot. All right, anyhow, so whenever you, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Lord have mercy. You look there, right there. You can't really see it, but I can see it, right? It's steaming, it's looking good, it's hot, and it's dang good too. So these are done. That's what it looks like when it's done. That is done, that is perfection at its finest right there, okay? So in this case, that's it. That's all there is to it. Make a few sausage balls, 36 of them to be exact, right, in this particular instance. So you can make them, they're good for breakfast, right? Put a little syrup with them or something, easy breezy. You guys have your good now.